Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. We are about to do a full face of e.l.f. Cosmetics using my staple products from e.l.f. Now they did send over a few things that is actually brand new. This is their Electric Mood Collection. And I'm gonna show you guys a little haul of all the products that's in this box before we get into the tutorial. Um, but before we get into anything, I wanna say thank you to e.l.f. Cosmetics for sponsoring today's video. So let me show you what all we have in the box. So this is the um, Electric Mood Disco Glitz brow and eye kit and it's actually in collaboration with tub low so you get a clear brow pomade a universal glitter paste and a dual ended brow brush this is actually the brush well no that's not the same one but they have a dual ended brush that i always use for my brows let me show you the products in here all right so here is the dual sided brush then you have the brow pomade and then this right here is the eye and body glitter paste. I am excited for this one because I want to try out the sponge. This is the Electric Mood Brush and Sponge Set. So you get one sponge and three brushes. So I might use the brush, one of the brushes too. Yeah, we might do that today too. We also have a hydrating balm in the shade Sweet Talk. Let's see what this looks like. I might even use this today. So here's the hydrating balm. Let me twist it up so y'all can see. There's like a little heart in the middle. So I might use that today. Let's watch it and see how it, oh, it looks like it has glitter shimmer in it. I don't know, let's see. Well, you can't really see the shimmer. It's really sheer. So we might put that, let me actually just put that on right now. Yeah, really, really sheer shimmer. And it feels, I mean, it's like a lip balm, so. Okay, hydrating, ooh, smells like coconuts, I like. And then I have, um, it's a glassy skin balm in the shade Ice Cold. It says this translucent glow balm creates the highly sought after glass skin effect by giving the skin an incredible glowy and dewy finish. So this is one of those products that um, I noticed people use before they, like you can use it however you want, but I've seen this used before putting on foundation, like the high points of your cheeks, or even if you wanna you know, put it on top of your foundation, just to give you that extra glowy look. That's just how I've seen it used, but let me show you how she looks. So here's the packaging. I know my lights are washing a lot of this stuff out, but the inside is like a white balm, but it's supposed to be clear. Let's see. Yeah, it's clear. I wonder if I can put this on my lips too. <laughs> Just like a lip balm, but it's clear. And it doesn't feel thick or sticky or anything like that. Interesting. It doesn't have a smell. Yeah, I wonder if I can put this on my lips too. I mean, you can... Girl, makeup has no rules. You can use it however you want. So that's that. And then we have another collection. So this one is in collaboration with Pitzion. Um, I really hope I said the name right, but it's the Eyeshadow Crayon Duo. This has two shades in it. This looks like it's a bronze. Let's see. All right, here they are right here. I like the packaging of these, it's really cute. So let's swatch them and see how they look. All right, so there's one shade right there. This is like a bronze color. And it's actually pretty sheer, so it's not gonna be too, too bold. And then this color right here. This is more of a champagne gold color. So really pretty, something to put on your lids if you just want like a little bit of a glowy, sparkly lid. Also, I think these will be good to put in the inner corner of your eye, like right in here to kind of brighten up the eyes. And then we have a sheer stick in the shade Ella. And this is what she looks like. Looks like it's gonna be a really pretty cherry red. And since this is a sheer stick, if you want most of the color 
to show up more you'll have to go you, you know you'll have to build it up some but there's that color right there then we have the de la soul cream face quad now i'm not the biggest fan of this because it is way too light for my complexion but you get two blushes a bronzer and a highlighter in here and then the last few products are in collaboration with Tiana Major. So we have a lip duo. Looks like this is a lip gloss and a lip pencil. Ooh, this lip pencil looks good, y'all. Ooh, I gotta swatch this like ASAP. Ooh, this looks good. It looks like a brown, like a really true chocolate brown. Let's swatch and see. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, I'm excited. Ah, yes. Okay. And then we have the gloss in the shade Affair. It's just a clear, sparkly. Ooh, has looks like an iridescent gloss. So there's a shift of pink, green, if you look at it in a different way, but I'm excited for this lip pencil, y'all. Yes, and then the Illuminating Elixir Primer Serum. I'm gonna use this today for my primer. Let's see, let's see. I really like the bottle. Like, look how pretty that is. The green, the blue. Shake it up. Let's see. Ooh, this is, ooh. A little sparkly. I don't know. I mean, not sparkly, but it looks like it'll be really glowy on the skin. Yeah, so this is something I wouldn't put all over my face. Because I don't want my face to be too, too glowy. But, mm, it smells like coconuts. I like when products smell like have a coconut smell and that's exactly what this smells like or do I still smell the other product that I had on earlier I don't know but yeah it smells like coconuts yeah so this is something that yeah I wouldn't put this all over my face if anything I'll put it on the high points of my cheeks to give me more of a glow um, but that's that. And then the last thing from Tiana Major is the eyeshadow palette. So this has some mattes in the middle. Like, yeah, the middle row is all mattes. You actually have quite a few mattes in here. And then you have um, some metallics and shimmers in here. Yeah, so the middle row has all matte shades, and then there's one shade up here, this yellow gold color right there is matte, and then the rest are like um, glitters and shimmers. So that's her right there. But that's everything that I received from e.l.f. Cosmetics from their Electric Mood collection. Now let's do the face. I know I wanna use the sponge, so I'm gonna run in there and wet it real quick because I always use a damp sponge with my makeup and I will be right back. All right, we have a damp sponge. I like the shape of it and I like how bouncy and soft it is. So this is gonna be easy to use with my concealer, with my setting powder. So I really like that. Before we get into any of that, let me um, put some SPF on. I'm gonna take my Tula SPF that y'all know I always use <laughs> and I'm almost out <laughs> and put it on. I don't know what look I want to do today, but I do know I want the look to be pretty and soft and something that you guys can recreate that's going to be, you know, really easy and not too over the top. We're going to skip primer today. I know, I know, I know. Um, you guys, I've skipped primer several times. I can go with or without primer. I'm not going anywhere today, so I feel like it's honestly not needed and my skin is hydrated. It has my SPF on, so I am good. Let's just go ahead and jump into the foundation. Well, before we do that, let me do my brows. The Ultra Precise Brow Pencil from Elf Cosmetics is the best brow pencil that they've ever 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 came out with so we're gonna put this on really quick 
and I just cleaned the brows up with my Kevin Aquan the Sensual Skin Enhancer. I'm going to use the e.l.f. sponge to blend out that so we can, yeah, I like the size of this and the shape of this sponge. Flawless Finish Foundation from e.l.f. Cosmetics, one of my staple foundations. Love this stuff. This is in the shade Coco. Hopefully this shade is still a good match for me. Haven't used it in a while. But hopefully it is. Let's just squirt it on the face. Well, hold on. Take a few pumps on the hand. I need to get another one of these. Ah, come on. We're almost out of this stuff. So I'm going to take the sponge and we are about to blend her out. This is a perfect match for the center of my face. But since I have gotten a little bit of sun, hopefully it matches my entire face. I'm pretty sure it will because it looks, yeah, it works. We're good. <laughs> we are good. Yeah, if I get a good tan, this will probably be too light. But this is my perfect match, y'all. Perfect match. If you haven't tried this foundation, girl, I'm going to need you to get it ASAP. She is flawless. The finish, perfection. Perfection. Okay. Concealer. L Cosmetics 16 Hour Camo Concealer. My favorite, 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 favorite concealer. Not only from Elf, but just from Drugstore all around this stuff is my go-to i use it the most i've gone through this is my third tube and i just love it love 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 it i have an oily t-zone and i think that's why i like it so much because the hydrating one is a little bit too hydrating for me and i like to use a concealer that's a little on the matte side for my t-zone and this does it. It gives me the coverage. It gives me the perfect finish. I love it. And I'm almost out of this one. I need to re-up <laughs> on this one. Oh, I, I use a shade uh, Deep Chestnut in this concealer, by the way. I'm gonna take the sponge again and just, yeah, this is a perfect size. It just gets right up in there. And you don't, honestly don't even have to pinch it too much because the shape like a perfect little triangle. I like this. I like it. Every time I do a full face of Elf Cosmetics, the finish, like after I do my complexion, it looks perfect. Perfect, you guys. Like I don't think I've come across any other drugstore products like one brand drugstore products that gives me the same finish as elf cosmetics like it like just right now i'm not even done with my face it just looks bomb the color is bomb the finish is bomb like everything <laughs> y'all i love elf <laughs> let's set the face i'm gonna use the matte setting powder from elf this is in the shade medium and we are just gonna set the concealer i'm gonna flip the sponge over to a cleaner side to use it like that and I'm going to set my concealer with this. So yeah, everything I'm using are my staple products from e.l.f. Cosmetics. The ones that I would recommend um, if you're wanting to try e.l.f. These are my staples, you guys. And I've done quite a few full face of e.l.f. Cosmetic videos on my channel. So you can check those out if you want to look at those. But if I had to pick a few products from e.l.f. that are my holy grail staples these are it besides like the new products that i'm going to be trying out but these are my staples holy grails can't get rid of just bomb products from elf elf has a sheer tinted press powder which i misplaced so i'm going to kind of cheat here and do my dior powder no powder to set the rest of my face right up here the side and under my chin and then of course brush away that um setting powder but yeah the sheer tint setting powder from elf 
bomb. And you guys have seen, well, if y'all watched my other Full Face of L Cosmetic videos, I featured it in those, but I misplaced it. I don't know what happened to it. All right, see how my skin is looking so good. It is gorgeous. Elf has bronzers, you guys. Um, well, new bronzers, it's the putty bronzer. I did a whole review on this and I'm in the shade Sunkissed. So we're gonna take my e.l.f. Um, blending brush. This is my favorite brush to use with any cream bronzer. So I'm gonna take it in here, pick up some of that product. I really wish that they would come out with bigger ones because it's kind of hard to put a big brush in it, but the product itself is gorgeous. I'm gonna place it on the sides right here. And I like to press it in, kind of buff in the product instead of going back and forth. Are y'all seeing this bronzer? Like, are y'all seeing this bronzer? I'm gonna clean up the sides with um, that setting powder and I will sweep the powder away in a little bit. I'm just going to clean it up. I'm going to do my nose contour with Patrick Ta contour um, bronzer duo. Just get this right quick, right quick, really quick, right quick. <laughs> Let's try the palette. Let's dip into the shades in here. Let's do, I said I wanted to do something simple. Y'all know when it comes to simple, I'd be doing one color, but just to at least play with the colors. Let me swatch a couple of them so we can see how, ooh. I just swatched peach champagne. I just wanna see how the colors look. Well, the, like the bright, fun colors. That is gorgeous. God's grills. That's what it's called. Um, let's do this blue, turquoise shift. So there are a few right there. And then let's do a pink shift. Ooh, I like that. Let's do purple today. Y'all wanna do purple? What color y'all wanna do? Let's see. I like your bright. That's what it's called, your bright. It's a pretty bronze gold color. Hmm, huh. I kinda wanna do purple today. Cause that's what I'm feeling right now, purple. Let's, yeah, let's do purple. Let's go in with summer fruit. And this is a matte purple. And I'm gonna pop this um, let's pop it all over first. I like this. I like this. Honestly, I didn't even need to put in a transition shade. Because this was easy to blend and it doesn't look patchy or anything. Like, that was easy. I like that. I want to try this color right here. It's called Pound Coin. This one right here. I think this will be pretty on the, can y'all see that? I think this will be pretty right here. Well, that's really shimmery, but it's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. It kind of has green and orange in it. And I think it looks good with that plum color, like the purple. What do y'all think? Let's see. I'm gonna have to get a brush to go like right in there cause my finger and my nail is too big to fit right there. But I like putting shades like this, like shadows like this on with my finger cause it makes it easier, but that's pretty. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's clean this up because it looks a hot mess. Let's do, hmm, I need a, another brush. Is this clean? Yeah, this is clean. I'm gonna clean it up. Let me go back into, ooh, I'm gonna put a matte color like right there instead of doing some more shimmer, but I wanna clean up the shimmer a little bit. Let me clean those edges up. 
with this clean brush. Just kind of clean the edges. I'm gonna use the dual sided brush that came in that set and I'm gonna pick up the shade Latte. This color that is really light, tan. I think this will be, let me see, let me see, let me see. Well, it's not light as light as I thought it would be. I want something lighter. But um, I wanted to put just a pop of brightness right here. Yeah, it can definitely be lighter. Let's do, let's do yellow. It's called yellow tie. And try it right there. Eh. See, I'm messing it up already. I might just stop right here. That's actually not that bad though. That's not that bad. Yeah, let's pack some more yellow right there. And then kind of brush it over into that green. That's actually not bad, y'all. Huh, I surprised myself, y'all. I done surprised myself. That looks good. Okay, let me do my mascara and then the lashes and then I'll be back. All right, y'all, let me know what you think about the eyes. I think I'm obsessed. I think I am obsessed with the eyes, y'all. I didn't think the yellow would tie in, but it looks gorgeous with the green and the purple. And I think I'm gonna put a little bit more on right there just to kind of make it a little bit a little bit more brighter after I brush away the powder, but I like this, y'all. I was not expecting for it to come out like this because I didn't know what I was doing, honestly. <laughs> I did not know what I was doing and I like how it came out, so yes. And I think I like it so much because it's not too bold, like it's not, it's, it's wearable. That's, honestly, that's exactly why I like it because this is so wearable and subtle but it's there, it's there, and I love it. Let's do the lips, excited for this lip liner. I wonder how it's gonna look with the gloss though. Let's just do it anyway, let's do it. Ah! Yes, Tiana Major, yes. This color is what we needed. It is what we needed. Elf Cosmetics has another brown liner that I use all the time. It's from the Retro Paradise collection. And now I have another favorite liner. I might have to get some more of these just to have this lip liner. Let's see what the gloss looks like with it on. Ooh, she is frosty. But I think she goes good with the eyes, honestly. Mm. This is a fun look, y'all. This is a fun look. I like it. Let me spray my face. I don't have a setting spray, let me grab it. Okay, one of my favorite sprays from Elf Cosmetics is the Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. I'm just gonna spray my face. All right, we are done, you guys. Now that I've pulled my hair up like this, it actually gives me 90s vibes, like the makeup, the hair. It's just giving 90s and I like it, I love it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you tried any of the new products from Elf Cosmetics. I will have the Electric Mood collection linked down below. Thank you so much to Elf Cosmetics for sponsoring today's video. If you guys enjoyed, give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.